second extract from A City Imagined uh, deals with Porrick Fake, Patrick Joseph O'Connor as given his uh, real name. Um, he features in the book um, and the world that he inhabited is also uh, touched on in, 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 in the book um, as a kind of tragic figure um, in many ways. I'm going, just going to read you a little piece here uh, which sort of situates him uh, in, the, in the 1950s. In a telling interview, the sense of hope and optimism Fake felt in the family home in Glengormley in the late 1950s and early 1960s is finely captured, yet sadly overshadowed in his recollection. I remember, he says, I remember two wee blackbirds getting trapped between the nylon drape and the window and fluttering madly, not able to get out. As I released them, the sky darkened and a shadow came over the window just as they escaped. I'm a poet who believes in omens. Joe's poetry is full of such moments, sudden encounters, tiny details which spring into life, the proc of smoke still hovering over the fry in the morning from his poem, A Childhood Friend. Or when he reimagines in Standing Water, a rag, the family entering into Nova Scotia, 19 and 29. Girl mother's delf face creaks, cracks. It is the North American cold, but it's also the anxiety of the immigrant, caught between excitement, anticipation and despair. I cling hard, tight onto a Belfast flapper's strong wrist bone. Her stiff new red leather raincoat creaks. Fake's poetry tells us much about the struggles to succeed in the new world. A five-year-old heading to New York. But it also, 90 years on, brings into startling focus what happens when those bad omens are not taken seriously and resolved. I want to thank everybody at Marion Press for the wonderful job they've done in bringing these three books uh, to, together. Um, uh, it started off in five years ago now, uh, and the books are, 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 I'm delighted with the look of them. I'm sure everybody else will, uh, will be too. So thanks to one and all at, um, at Marion Press, and uh, good wishes from a very, very happy author. Thanks.